Today, I am talking about uh, differential diagnosis of posterior shoulder pain. So, um, there, let's see here. So there's, I know, can you come here for a second? So when I, when I talk about shoulders, I'm not talking about like, you know, like um, the rhomboid, like that far in. I'm talking about the, the joint line back in here, okay? So, um, everybody knows I know it here. Okay, so uh, let's move this Instagram live over. Okay, so when it comes to uh, posterior shoulder pain, when I'm talking about this right here, that area right in here, it can, it can only be a, a few things really uh, in the outpatient setting. So either they have a tear, so you always want to test their strength, okay? So make sure you test their external rotation, all right? Um, they could have a tendonitis, they strained it, throwing or something like that, or they could have a labral issue going on in there. And that's really all that really goes on, unless they dislocated it. I have labral tears in the back of my shoulder, but unless they dislocated it, that's really all it could be. So what I do is you can rule out posterior impingement syndrome. You can read that paper on my website, wealthmethods.com. And what you do is you go like this and bring it all the way back like that. And I, and I say, do you feel pain in the back of your shoulder? She says, yes. I ask them, is it pinching sharp pain? And that's mechanical pain. She, pinching sharp pain is mechanical pain. And then what I do is I, I mobilize posteriorly and inferiorly, read my paper, posterior inferior in the glitohumeral joint, and I'll say, is the pain still there? And if it's posterior impingement syndrome, she'll say no. And I just confirm my diagnosis of that. So I've ruled that out. So I'll rule out what you can rule out. And then the rest is like a muscle strain back here or, you know, dislocation, but posterior dislocations are very rare. Or they could have a label tear going on in there, okay? Um, so rule out what you can rule out and you can rule out mechanical issues, okay? Thanks for that. Um, but posterior shoulder pain is really not that tricky if you, if you understand, um, if you can rule out posterior impingement syndrome, because what's left? You know, like what, what could it be? A muscle strain or a labral tear? You know, I have labral tears in both of my shoulders from college football workouts, and they made us do 105% of our max twice a week. So I was doing like crazy amounts of weight, uh, and it literally went like that and ripped my labrums in, my, in the posterior shoulder. Nice, nice workout, right? I had to do it. I was, you know, a scholarship athlete. You gotta, you can't say no, you know? Uh, anyways, it ripped my labor. But I don't have pinching pain. I just have this like soreness in the back of my shoulder when I get back to here. Um, one thing I want to, um, one thing I want to say is that when I was a student, and I'll never forget this and I will never do it again, okay? We all make mistakes, right? When I was a student, I remember this, uh, this patient that I misdiagnosed. They had a bicipital tendonitis. Um, I thought it was bicipital tendonitis. And, be, and the reason why is because I never checked their subscap strength, subscapularis muscle, internal rotation. But guess what it turned out to be? Subscap, subscap tear that was causing pain right in here. So always test strength. So now, like, you know, ever since that day when I was a student or whatever, Ever since that day, I check strength on everybody and make sure that they're all, you know, strong and that there's not a tear in there and it's not going to go like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody just asked here on Instagram, hello, sir, really love your work. How can I get a copy of your map book? So all of my methods are on uh, online and they're all home study courses. So you can take them right now. Uh, and it's weltonmethods.com for all my, all my courses, my protocol, 